The default Minecraft launcher is terrible, especially when it comes to modding your game. You have to do everything manually and it's very tedious. That's why you should use the at launcher. It's the best Minecraft launcher out there and what I recommend to everybody. It can do everything other launchers can do and more. It's super customizable and makes playing mod packs or with mods super easy. I'm going to cover everything from the initial setup to playing your game with mods, shaders, and resource packs. The first step is to go to the download page. First link in the description. Select which version is for your computer, but for most people it will be the recommended download. Go to your downloads folder and run the file. Accept the agreement and make sure this button is checked to install Java for you, then click next, then install, then finish. The first prompt you get will let you select your language and if you want to enable analytics. Just click save and let's continue. Now we are in the launcher. The first step is to get signed into your Microsoft account. So go to the accounts tab and click login with Microsoft. Select your account and sign in. After you've done this, you can close the tab and go back to the launcher. Next, let's change some settings. First, you can change your theme if you'd like to, but I prefer the default theme. Then you can change your date format. Now change the default tab to instances. So when you open the launcher, it takes you straight to your saves. Then I recommend unchecking the top four checkboxes. Click save and go to Java slash Minecraft. It's recommended to change the default RAM to something higher if you're able to, especially if you're playing modded Minecraft. And to check how much RAM you have, right click on your taskbar and go to Task Manager. From here, click the Performance tab. Then you should see your memory. For me, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. You may have a different amount. Now back in the launcher, you can change the RAM to six or eight gigabytes of RAM, depending on how big the mod packs you play are. I go with eight gigabytes because I have a lot of RAM available. Just be sure not to go above half the RAM you have. Click Save and and those are all the settings we need to change. Now we can get to the fun stuff. Go to the packs tab and search for the mod pack you want to play. Then click new instance, then install. Some mod packs will come up with a prompt saying they cannot install some mods. When this happens, click open all in browser. Click on each tab individually so it downloads the mods. And then it will install those mods for you into the instance. Now it will show up in the instances tab. You can add additional mods such as the essential mod to play with friends. Whenever I make an instance I go to the packs tab, modrinth, then I install additive. From there I go to the instances tab and click add mods. Change the mod search to modrinth and add whatever I may want. Then I change the drop down box from mods to resource packs. I like default dark mode. Then I change the dropdown to shaders and install complementary reimagined. What makes installing mods on this launcher so good is that it downloads mod dependencies as well as the mods. To play, simply click play. But if you get a message like this, it will tell you what is wrong with your instance, whether it is incompatible mods or mod versions. It will tell you right here. If you want to make an instance from scratch or want to play vanilla Minecraft, then click the create pack tab. From here, you can select the version you want to play and if you want to, a mod loader, which is usually Fabric or Forge. From here, you can also create a server within the launcher if you want to run one on your computer. If you create a server, it will show up in the servers tab of the launcher. If you play with multiple Minecraft accounts, you can log into multiple and select from the drop down box which one you want to play with. I've covered everything you need to know about the At Launcher. If you have any trouble, join my brand new Discord server or the official At Launcher Discord server for help. Have fun and happy modding!